Lions and cheetahs and rhinos, oh my. Animals artwork by children in sub-Saharan Africa. Do you like wild animals? Would you like to paint one? How about a lion? You should first start by drawing one. Look closely, but don't get too close. The lion is a ferocious hunter. At night, it can see eight times better than you can. Oh my, perhaps you should start with a gentler African animal, like a zebra. The zebra looks like a horse in striped pajamas. The stripes are vertical up and down on the main part of the animal's body, but they go sideways on his rump. Zebras often travel in herds. You can tell them apart because the pattern of each zebra's stripes is different, like fingerprints. If you get tired of drawing stripes, you could draw something with spots, like a cheetah. The cheetah is smaller than a lion and has distinctive black spots on its yellow coat to help it hide in the golden grass of the African plains. But you better draw fast before it dashes away. The cheetah is the fastest animal on land. It can race at 65 miles per hour when chasing a meal. If you want to draw something with bigger spots, you could draw a giraffe. It's covered in spots too. Like the zebra's stripes, the pattern of the spots on the giraffe's fur is special to each animal. The giraffe is the tallest animal on earth. It's as tall as three basketball players standing on each other's shoulders. Giraffes often sleep standing up, usually for only five minutes at a time. These gentle creatures feast on flowers and leaves. Want to draw another animal that loves its vegetables? How about a rhinoceros? Some rhinos have only one horn, but these are African rhinos. They have two horns on their noses. If you like drawing horns, you could draw an impala. The impala is a type of antelope. Male impalas have a pair of Y-shaped horns that they use to fight over who is in charge of a territory. Impalas have short tails and black markings on their rear that form the shape of the letter M. Or you could draw another animal with a short tail like the hippopotamus. At night, the hippo trudges out of the water to feed on grass. Hippos have long teeth that they show off by opening their mouths very wide like this one. But if you don't want to draw a hippo, how about another pr night prowler? You could draw a leopard. The leopard is the largest spotted cat in Africa. Its round spots are called rosettes, but it may be hard to find a leopard as they are shy. You can sometimes spot one in a tree by looking for its dangling tail or its bright blue or green eyes. Can't find a leopard? That's okay. Look for something big, like a polar bear. No, polar bears don't live in Africa. But a gorilla does. Some gorillas inhabit the lush tropical forest of western sub-Saharan Africa. Others hang out in the mountains of central Africa. The gorilla is the largest of the group of animals called primates. Humans are primates too. Like humans, the gorilla has arms, legs, fingers, and toes, but it usually walks on all fours. But if the gorilla isn't big enough for you, how about something even bigger? Something like an elephant. The elephant is the world's largest land mammal. The African elephant has giant ears that flap back and forth and beautiful ivory tusks. Elephants use their tusks to protect themselves and to find food. Elephants are so gigantic, they have to eat and drink all day. They use their long trunks to suck up water to spray it into their mouths. An elephant can drink 50 gallons a day. That's 800 glasses of water. But you still want to draw a lion? Of course you do. The lion is regal. 
the king of the beast. It's a symbol of pride and strength in many African cultures. A male lion's head is surrounded by long, dark fur called a mane. He protects the female and young lions in his family, which is called a pride. The female lion raises the lion cubs and are the primary hunters for the pride. An animal this majestic inspires everyone. Let's all draw a lion and then paint. There are many more beautiful animals in Africa. Birds, snakes, monkeys, wildebeest, and even crocodiles. You can paint any animal you want, or you can paint them all. Sadly, many of these animals are endangered and many die out. Animal lives are being lost each day to conflict, habitat loss, and poaching. Human beings are usually the cause of these problems, but by learning about African animals and their endangered status, you can help protect them. Lions and cheetahs and rhinos, oh my!